Hello everybody, my name is Lucius. Today I'm going to explain how the Texas power outages happened in the winter of February 2021. So how did this happen? First, let's talk about the electrical grid of Texas. An electrical grid is an interconnected network of electricity. In the United States, there are three main electrical grids. Western interconnection, Eastern interconnection, and Texas interconnection. Western and Eastern interconnection connected many different states together. So in that way, each state can support each other with electricity when needed. But for Texas, it has to rely on its own grid. Let's take a look inside the grid. There are power plants, which generate electricity and then transfer them into transmission lines. The electricity goes through electrical substation and then distributed to consumers. The true problem came from here, the power plant. They failed to operate. When the winter storm hit Texas from February 10 to the 17th of 2021, the lowest temperature recorded in Dallas-Fort Worth area was negative 2 Fahrenheit. And for all around other parts of Texas, it was below freezing temperature. According to ERCOT, in 2019, nearly half of Texas electricity was generated by natural gas. Coal and wind power each generated about 20%. Nuclear power supplied about 11%. The remainder are solar, hydroelectric, and other sources. So how did most of these power plants fail? Solar panels were covered by snow, and there was no sight of sunlight. So pretty much, they were useless. Wind turbines stopped working due to ice building up on the blades and causing imbalances. Coal power plants were also dealing with frozen equipment. Coal power plants operate using feed water needed to run the steam turbine. This pipe were frozen, causing the plant to shut down. Nuclear power plants operate the same way as coal power plants except they use nuclear reactor to turn water into steam. Those pipes were frozen too, causing one of the reactors to shut down, and that equal to amount of electricity for 270,000 homes in Texas. Natural gas power plants also faced the same problem with frozen equipment, but what was worse is that they couldn't get enough gas delivered to their facilities. Gas is delivered by pipelines, and now pipelines don't freeze because they was buried under the ground. Pipeline starts from the natural gas wellhead, pushed by the compressor station through the processing plant toward the power plants. But guess what? Processing plants and compressor station didn't have enough electricity to be operated, so they failed to deliver gas to the power plants. Since many of these power plants went offline, there's not enough electricity produced to meet the high demand of Texas residents. Electricity company decided to do a rolling blackout. That means each area takes turns to have power for a few hours and then comes a long blackout again. In addition, Texas residents also had to face water outages due to frozen water pipes. Try to imagine living under the freezing cold weather in the 21st century without power, water, and food. Oh lord, that was a nightmare. My family and I also living in Texas. We were lucky enough to have warm blankets and food to survive. But still many people out there weren't so fortunate. I'm not sure if the Texas leaders have done anything about it. I can only wish for all Texas residents to stay warm and safe this coming winter. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel. My name is Lucius and I'll see you in the next video.